I think, I got to tell you this, I think it is a little bit insulting to the people of California, our largest state. And she is not prepared to have a discussion with me about how she will help the Californians address the age of crisis that we face. When we began this campaign over 12 months ago, nobody took us seriously, nobody took you seriously. Well, a lot has changed in the last 12 months. In the last 12 months, we have won 20 state primaries in caucuses. We have received well over 9 million votes. including those states that we have lost. We have won sometimes by, dare I say, huge numbers. We have won the votes of people 45 years of age and younger. Now, I know that some of you who are 20 think that 45 is not so young. Your views will change when you are 45. <laughs> and as Dick and I show us, you could be young at 90. <laughs> but here is what is extraordinarily important about the reality that we only need the young to vote in this country. Because it tells me, it tells America, and it should tell the Democratic leadership that our vision, a vision of social justice, economic justice, racial justice, environmental justice, that is the future of our country. And it should tell Donald Trump and his friends that their big dream is to pass by the future.
great economy is when children in Los Angeles go hungry, while at the same time as we're seeing a proliferation of a millionaires and billionaires. A great economy is when the 20 wealthiest people, 20 people, now own more wealth than the bottom 150 million Americans. The economy is when the wealthiest family in this country, the Walton family, who owns Walmart, when that one family owns more wealth than the bottom 42% of the American people. And what's even, even more absurd, even more ridiculous, is when the middle class has to subsidize the workers at Walmart because wages there are so low they need to go on food stamps and Medicaid. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we're going to end an economic approach where the middle class is subsidizing the wealthiest family in this country. So I say, I say to the Walton family, get off of welfare, pay workers a living wage. The way to the economy is when multinational corporations that make billions of dollars a year in profit stash their profits in the Cayman Islands and other tax havens and end up not paying a nickel in a given year in federal income tax. A rigged economy is when large and powerful corporations shut down their manufacturing plants in California or Vermont and move to China where they can hire slave labor to manufacture their products. Our job and what we will accomplish is creating an economy that works for all of us, not just the 1%. I am tired of seeing the middle class shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, and almost all new income and wealth goes to the people on top. In this country, we should not have an economy when mom is working, dad is working, and the kids are working, and they're still barely making enough money to pay the bills. And that is why in America, we are going to make certain that if you work 40 hours a week, you will not be living in poverty. That is why we're going to raise the minimum wage in 50 states in this country to 15 hours a day. It is not acceptable to me that single moms who are working their hearts out then come back to their children in the evening and don't have adequate funds to provide for their kids. It is not acceptable to me that half of the children in America and our public school systems are on free or reduced lunches. I have been to food shows, emergency food shows, all over this country. You know what is amazing? Most of the people who go into those food shows are working people. It's not that they are unemployed. They are simply not earning enough income to take care of their families. And together, we're going to change that 15 bucks an hour minimum wage. And when we talk about fair pay, I hope that every man here will stand with the women to fight for pay for the There is no rational economic reason why women 
going to make it 79 cents on the dollar to pay us when that is good old-fashioned sexism.
the billionaire campaign to Christmas. <laughs> so proud and so thankful for during this campaign is that we have made history in how we raise the money we need to run a winning national campaign. Every candidate who has run for president in 2016 has a super PAC except us.
appealing to women. And women are following Republicans in the House and the Senate and governors are going all over the country to talk about family values. And let us be very clear as to what Republican family values are about. What Republican family values are is telling every woman here tonight, every woman in California and in America, that she does not have the right to control her own body, penis, and shape. Republicans' so-called family values are also about are telling our gay brothers and sisters that they cannot get married. We disagree. In a few days, my wife Jane and I will be married 28 years.
in public colleges and universities is the strength of lowering student debt. Talk about. The media doesn't talk about it very much. 
And that is that 47 million people in this country are living in poverty. And many of those people are living in the inner cities of this country. I want to say a little bit about poverty, so let's make this clear. Poverty is not that you don't have a big flat screen TV. Poverty is not about that you can't go to a fancy restaurant. Poverty is being a mother worrying about how you're going to put food on the table for your children. Poverty is about being a worker and not having enough money to put gas in the car to get to work. And if you don't get to work, your entire life is destroyed to the lose your job. Poverty is about a family having to figure out how they find affordable childcare for their kids while they go to work. Poverty is about moms and dads desperately wanting to send their kids to college but not having the resources to do that. Poverty is about living in a mostly white, very rural community in McDowell County, West Virginia. In that county of working class and low income people, the life expectancy is 18 years lower than it is for Fairfax, Virginia, six hours away by car. People don't know this, but poverty in many respects in this country is a death sentence. People who are poor are living under enormous stress every day, worried about how they survive. And that stress takes its tolls on their bodies and on their minds. Our job in the wealthiest country in the history of the world is not to have 47 million people living in poverty. Our job is to reach out to the poor and help them rebuild their lives. Our job is to make sure that no mother in this country has to worry about how she's going to feed her children. The African American community only the other people. They say to Bernie, how come we have trillions of dollars to spend on a war in Iraq we never should have gotten into? If somehow we don't have the funds to rebuild inner cities in America. And they are right. We are together going to change our national priorities. Instead of fighting wars that we never should have gotten into, we're going to invest in inner cities and in rural communities.
My question is that as human beings, we are part of nature. We must live with nature. And that if we destroy nature, we are destroying the human species.
Your job is to stay home and have babies. That's what you're supposed to do. But a billion and your male allies stood up and fought back and said that in America, women will not be sacrificed for the If we were here 10 years ago, not a long time, and somebody jumped up and said, you know, Murray, I think that by the year 2015, gay marriage will be legal in every state in this country. Very few people would have believed that that would be possible. But what happened is that the LGBT community and their straight allies. They stood up, and let me tell you something, because I witnessed this. They stood up and took on incredible bigotry and homophobia. But they persisted, and they said that in America, everyone has the right to love whoever they want, regardless of their gender.